Hi, this is Cadet Brett Larson from Team Prosper speaking. I'm the one on the left. When our team first formed at the beginning of the fall semester, our first task was to find a design problem. Prosper, meaning professional stretching performance, is a name that our team came up with to describe our mission. We traveled to New Dynamics Corporation in Middletown, New York, a nonprofit corporation that manufactures hearing protection, various staplers, and brass stencils for a tour of the facility and to hopefully find a project. Before long, we were discussing possibilities for projects with the management, including stapler assembly jigs, high-performance workstations, and safety equipment. Our hope to find a design problem was realized as we moved to the hearing protection manufacturing process. The process has three distinct steps, earplug cutting, removal, and packaging. The first and third steps are both very efficient. The cutting is completed by an automated machine that a worker simply controls by a few buttons. And the packaging is also done by a machine, this one continuous, so a worker only needs to provide oversight. However, the second step, the earplug removal, is done completely manually. The clip that has been playing on the left since the beginning of this video is the current process, and the site that we witnessed on the first day we visited. The process is slow much slower than the cutting or packaging. This creates a bottleneck in the manufacturing process that costs precious time. Moreover, the task is very physically demanding and mentally draining. Physically, the worker's posture is taxing on both the neck and back, and the grip and suspension of the air equipment is tiring for the hands and shoulders. Plus, ironically, the noise that the air equipment makes drives the workers to wear hearing protection. This is what it sounds like. Mentally, the task is very mundane. The workers admit to becoming very fatigued and unmotivated after only a few sheets. This leads to a drop off in productivity which only adds to the problem of inefficiency. Let me stop this noise. What our team decided to do was attack this problem. Now what you see here is our solution. This is Cadet Jeff Pierre-Louis. We call him JPL. So what he's doing is picking up a sheet of earplugs. The sheet has 4,480 earplugs pre-cut in it. First, JPL hooks up the corners. The rods at the corners are about 3 quarters of an inch longer than the other rods. What this does is allow for easy hookup of the sheet at the corners first, which perfectly aligns the sheet every time. Once it's aligned, you can see that JPL has an easy time attaching the rest of the rods. You might be asking, why is JPL attaching this sheet to these rods? Well, here's why. When we first looked at this problem, we had to figure out how we were going to remove the earplugs from the sheet, right? Well, after following the design process, what we arrived at was a stretch. And what we realized that we needed to do was achieve an equal stretch in each direction because we couldn't have odd-shaped holes. The plugs wouldn't fall out due to the applied forces from the side of the little holes. He just finished attaching the sheet to the prototype. Now he's pushing the sheet downwards. This motion is achieving a stretch on the sheet. And this is the real crux of our device. What it allows the worker to do is achieve a perfect stretch with minimal effort and no moving parts. Just look at those earplugs come out. Here's what I want you to notice. Let me bring the videos up side by side now. There we go. Okay, the video on the left, the old method, has been running since the start of the video, about 3 minutes and 50 seconds, whereas the new method on the right has been running for about 1 minute and 30 seconds. New Dynamics uses a paint roller, but wow, look how JPL removes so many of the final remaining earplugs with just a pass of his hand. At this point, JPL has removed about 95% of the earplugs in less than 2 minutes with the new method. As for the old method, JPL has only removed about a third of them. So now, all that JPL really has left to do is remove the earplugs that are stranded around the very outside of the sheet. He uses his fingers. However, at New Dynamics, the workers tend to use the readily available compressed air. Except there are so few earplugs left, that the use of the air does not lead to fatigue. In fact, other than being faster, the worker feedback that we have received the most often is that it is more fun, less mundane, and the workers enjoy the ability to move around the device. And that about does it. JPL is on his final approach to finishing the sheet. Since I'm running out of time in my max video length, I'll cut to the chase. 
The advice that we received from our advisors on the project has been great. We followed the design process and built and delivered our first prototype as soon as we could. With great feedback from New Dynamics, we were able to make improvements. The worker's speed has improved, which has been very exciting. I wanted to compare the old to the new method as best as I could in this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. JPL is just finishing up the last row here on the side. And when he finishes, he'll be right at about 3 minutes and 22 seconds. And here it comes, and there, he's all done. Now in comparison, the old way is still running. And JPL is going to continue at this for about 5 more minutes. The final time for him using the old way was 11 minutes and 12 seconds. Thanks for watching the video.